We cross uh, to the capital, Managua. Sergio Ramirez, former vice president of Nicaragua, joins us. Thank you for speaking with us on France 24. Uh, the very latest. Morning. How are you? We're, uh, we're fine. Uh, the very latest uh, coming in from the French news agency AFP is that there's been a fresh assault launched against the city of Mazaya. What is your reaction? Well, this uh, very in this very moment, in this morning, the paramilitary forces, along with the police forces, are massively putting Masaya under attack again. They want to penetrate the Monimbo Barrio, which is uh, the stronghold of the resistance in Masaya, as well as it was the stronghold of the resistance against the Somoza dictatorship. And it is going to be a bloodshed because, as uh, in your reportage, we have we, we could see uh, people is unarmed. They only have uh, poor weapons to defend themselves, and it is going to be a, a really a massacre. And we heard in that uh, report, we heard in that report the uh, uh, we heard in that report that old woman saying how she was sympathetic to the Sandinistas uh, after they toppled the, the, the Somoza dictatorship uh, as the man who was vice president to uh, Daniel Ortega. What has happened? Well, it is, uh, we, we, we are living now under a dictatorship uh, very similar to the one of uh, Somoza. I, uh, separate myself from uh, Ortega many, many years ago. I couldn't say what has happened with him, what have been the inner transformations uh, he, he has uh, had during these uh, years. But uh, he really is a dictator, and he is uh, using a brutal force to uh, against people, unarmed people, like this uh, just happening in, in Masaya just now. Now, uh, the bishops of Managua are uh, going in this very moment to Masaya to try to stop uh, this uh, massacre. He uh, spent time in opposition, uh, President Ortega, returns to power in 2007. Is he a different man from the one that you knew back in the 1980s? Uh, completely, because it is a familiar power now. Uh, during the 80s, we didn't have any kind of familiar power. It was a, a revolution which uh, uh, tried to, to give the people a new kind of life, to try to establish justice in the, in the country. It was a real revolution. We don't have any revolutionary government now. We have a a dictatorship, just a, a, a dictatorship uh, like any other in Latin America that repress uh, uh, people. You mentioned, Sergio Ramirez, uh, the role of the church. What are you expecting from prelates? Well, the church is playing a very crucial role in uh, Nicaragua today. They are defending people. They are the a kind of moral, ethic leadership for the population, and they are mediating in the, the in the dialogue, the national dialogue established between the opposition, the civil forces of the opposition, uh, and the government. Uh, till now, this dialogue has proved to be a failure because the government is, the government is not not serious uh, about the, the the subjects that are discussed in the. Uh, around this uh, this table, but well, just now in the organization of American state is under discussion in, uh, in uh, the report of the human rights commissions, inter-American uh, human rights commissions. Uh, we expect a very clear report about the abuses against people, the killing, the, and all the crimes committed against the people of Nicaragua. Where, what we need is uh, the international opinion, the governments, the international organizations, organizations to 
uh, become aware of what is really happening in Nicaragua, a brutal repression that has produced just now more than 200 people killed. And what's the way forward for the opposition? Is it to enable uh, President Ortega to step down gracefully or to pressure him out by all means? I think there is no other way out of this crisis that uh, Mr. Ortega and, and uh, his wife stepping down of power because uh, it has been created a complete uh, incompatibility, incompatibility between him and her and the population and the and the uh, and the people of in exchange of, of for an amnesty if that means saving uh, if that means saving more lives in exchange for an amnesty well yes uh, i really don't know how is the, the, the how, how is this is going to be organized the way out but uh, i think if not uh, it is going to continue the bloodshed in Nicaragua and the number of uh, people killed will multiply in a few weeks. Then the best for Nicaragua is for Ortega stepping down and uh, giving way to organize a provisional government that could uh, organize free elections in, every, in a very short uh, term. Sergio Ramez, prize-winning author of Castigo Divino, Divine Punishment, former vice president of Nicaragua. Thank you for speaking with us on France 24.